So some of you guys are getting pain while you're doing the flat bench, but not so much while you're doing the incline bench. Some of you are getting pain with both. Either way, I'm hoping that this tip that I'm gonna give you today will actually help to alleviate that problem, maybe even help to solve it. What I always say to people is you have to be really careful on looking for that one problem, that one problem that's gonna fix everything. And while that may be the case today, it's rarely the case that one thing is causing your problems. Now what I'm about to show you may be a large contributor to this problem of pain that you're having. However, there is a very good chance that it may not be the only problem and that you may want to explore different avenues. Maybe you need to go and see a physical therapist, a physiotherapist. Maybe you need to go and see a personal trainer. Maybe you need to watch some more of my videos. <laughs> anyway, let's get to it guys. Regardless of whether you're getting pain, whether you're on an incline or whether you're on flat, there's one common reason that could be causing this. And that essentially is your elbow position. So I've discussed this in some other videos. And what can tend to happen with people is they can have their elbows right up in the air while they're doing the bench press. And that actually can lead to impingement in the shoulder, less space in the shoulder joint, discomfort in the shoulder joint. So try this with me now. Bring your arms right up into the air like this. Even exaggerate it slightly, come a little bit above 90 degrees and see how far back your elbows, your hands, see how far back you can actually get your hands to come. It's very difficult. You can see here, I'm, I'm, I'm not even coming within the line of my chest. I can't even get full range of movement. Whereas if you bring your elbows down slightly, so much easier to get a nice stretch on your chest, to get your hands back into position in line with your chest, to get more movement ultimately in your shoulders. Now, why am I saying this? I'm saying this because naturally, when we do the incline bench, and I'll show you now. So naturally, when we're doing the incline bench, our elbows come down a bit more like this, instead of being right up and out. So that's actually gonna cause a bit more comfort in the chest, and that's why a lot of people say, oh, well I actually don't get much pain in my chest while I'm doing the incline, but I do with the flat. Now let me show you what happens with the flat bench. Naturally, the position we come into with the flat bench is gonna be more elbows, elbows up, and again, as I mentioned earlier, that's what's gonna cause a bit more pain in the shoulders, because there's less room for movement. You can't come down as far. And even if you don't come down as far, there's still gonna be some level of catching in the shoulder, impingement, less space in the shoulder, less room for movement. So a simple trick for that, if you are getting pain in the shoulders while you're doing flat bench, is just to drop the elbows a little bit. And that will actually cause a similar path, if you like, for your joints to take to what it takes when you're doing the incline bench press. Now I'm saying bench press, bench press, dumbbell press, whether it's a bar or it's not a bar, it doesn't make a difference. Let me use my trusty broomstick to show you what I mean. So with the bench press, you can have the bar down a little bit lower, the elbows will be down, you can see here, or you can have the bar higher and the elbows will be up higher. So this is what you don't really want or what you want to avoid and this is what you want to aim more so for. So no, yes. And what I would know is yes, you will probably lift a little bit more weight with your elbows up, but at what cost? At the cost of injury, at the cost of pain, discomfort, not being able to train, that's not what you want. Now, if you're not having any trouble with this, you don't really need to change it. And if you're looking for a few tips on how to grow your chest, check these videos just here.